It's the side, what I don't like about drugs is the side effects. If they had drugs without side effects, that would be great. Be so, vitamins. Well, they should, but there's no money in vitamins. Who's going to make money out of vitamins? I'll give you an example. Uh, if you have high blood cholesterol, I can bring it down for seven dollars a month, nice. But the doctors won't do that. They'll give you statin that costs hundred dollars a month, which don't do it nearly as well, because the statin is strongly, is heavily advertised, and the doctor knows about it. The doctor does not know enough about niacin. So we have these natural products which are extremely effective, but they are not being used. They don't teach it in medical school. They don't learn about it. They don't read about it in the magazines. So it's a terrible situation. Two things I'm curious about is. I know that they say that um, vitamin C will help rebuild the collagen of the blood vessels to yes. reduce the need for your body to produce the cholesterol, so which will lead to the plaque clearing up and the, uh, the arteries uh, regaining their strength. And uh, where does the niacin tie into I that? think niacin does it better, because niacin brings down the cholesterol levels, it elevates the HDL. The most important single factor is the high density lipoprotein cholesterol. Niacin brings it up, and that's what cleans out the vessels. Vitamin C makes the vessel stronger, but niacin also clears it. The studies done in Seattle show that if you have blocked vessels, <coughs> they start to clear within 18 months after you start taking niacin. They open up. In fact, I think that if every person before they went for a coronary bypass, if they were to start on the right orthomolecular program, they might not have to go in most cases. Uh, I wonder if I'm, I'm correct in my understanding that the body's actually producing cholesterol in order to repair the arteries that are deteriorating because of a, a vitamin C deficiency, the collagen be. deteriorating. It could be. And then, um, isn't there a danger in, in forcing the cholesterol count to drop if no. the body's using the body it to repair? It happen. It, we don't drop it. <coughs> we just drop the bad one. The good one goes up. So it can still repair the arteries? It and does, yeah. Yeah, the HDL, which is the good one, which is the only important one, goes up. And so that's a very beneficial.